Hey everyone and welcome to Phil Friday. It is a windy day here in St. Martin. And of course that's the day I decided to go film something because whenever I decide to go film something, it gets windy and cloudy and that's just the luck of the game with the camera game. But I'm here. This is my first time doing this. I am at the Natural Pools Hike. Now this is a hike that's near Guana Bay. It's gonna walk me all the way out to the Natural Pools on this extremely windy day. We'll see what kind of footage I get. I don't know, I've never done this before. So you're coming along with me for the first time so that you don't make the same mistakes I do. Or this could also be my last video because I'm not a hiker and you may never see me again and this could just be lost footage. But let's not go dark. Let's not go dark. Let's stay positive today. So to get here, uh, I'll show you the map right now. This is the northern entry to the natural pools. There's a southern entry as well uh, that is not as far of a walk. This one's going to be a little bit more of a hike. First off, when you get here, there's not a lot of parking, but there's also not a lot of people that come out here too often, so you don't have to worry too much. As you can see right here, uh, this is about the only place to park. And the hike basically is going to go along this trail, uh, but apparently this trail just walks along the ocean. Let's go find out and uh, come along with me. So I am starting this hike at around 11.20 in the morning. Probably a terrible time to do this, but you know what? I'm not a morning person, so people always say go on hikes early in the morning, it's not as hot. Uh, this is my punishment. So we're gonna see how long this hike kind of takes. Uh, a few things that you're definitely going to want on this hike, and that is water, good shoes, already seen a lot of glass, uh, and sunscreen. So far, I'm enjoying this hike. I'm about three minutes into this hike, and I've already found a really cool viewpoint. Uh, I mean, check this out. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. This is, so far, really beautiful. I'm already exhausted, but I'm only two minutes in. Let's keep going. I think I'm about seven minutes into this with a few stops but I really haven't gone that far. The trail is pretty easy to read and understand. I haven't hit a fork in the road yet. I shouldn't get lost. I've come to my first fork in the road. I said I would mention it when I see it. I'm betting the correct way to go is to the right. And I'm tired. And I'm tired of going uphill. So I'm gonna gamble and go left. Wish me luck. So here's where you come out if you go to the left. Doesn't feel wrong to me. I wonder if uh, St. Martin counts that as one of their 30 something beaches. As I expected, higher route just comes down, lower route just walks along. So you can go either way. So, so far, we have no wrong ways. As long as you're following the path, you cannot go wrong. <laughs> so, remember how I said you should wear good shoes? I didn't listen to my own advice. And there, literally, I felt this jabbing in my foot. There's literally a rock in here. So, yeah. So, wear appropriate shoes. I didn't. I want to talk a little bit about who should do this hike, whether or not it's safe, whether or not it's something maybe you should add to your itinerary of things to do. And here's what I would say. One, go alone only if you're active enough to do it because I'm not an active person. I'm active enough to do this. Uh, I feel good enough about my health to do this. It's a risk I'm willing to take. But if you are prone to health risks or, you know, it's not that the hike is difficult. It's a pretty flat walk for the most part, a little ups and downs, a few kind of rocks. But for the most part, it's, it's not a challenging for hikers. 
What I would say is that if I were to have a health issue while I'm out here and I'm alone, uh, you're alone. No one's gonna hear you. No one's gonna help you. There's not many people on this trail. I haven't walked by a single person yet. And the second part is, it's not gonna be fun for you because there's no shade. Uh, and so if you are sensitive to heat, this is not a hike for you. There's no shade. Uh, I almost didn't wear a hat because I don't like wearing hats, but I figured I'd look super cute in this pink hat. I should rock this hat today and protect myself from the heat and the sun. But for me, like, I haven't had a place really to even sit comfortably. So you're on your feet, you're in the sun. Thankfully today is a breeze. So yes, take all those things into consideration when you're doing this hike. Because even if you do have someone with you, but you become immobilized, by the time that they get back, find help, get the help all the way here, you are gonna be spending that entire time in direct sun. It is going to be very hard for you to find shade. So think about these things of whether or not something like this is worth it to you. As someone who doesn't like hiking, doesn't really get it, not a huge view, like it's not that important to me, this hike so far has not been worth it. Uh, so if something happens to me health-wise, I'll be very upset because this is not how I want to go. So to me so far, this hike has not been worth it. I think maybe for someone who just likes to go on a nature hike, get a little exercise, I think you'll enjoy this. I left at 11.20, it's now 11.55. This is a little bit longer of a hike than I expected. As I'm going up this hill, all right, this is probably the steepest it's been so far. Uh, but if you're afraid of heights, do not look this way. I'm good. Uh, but I wanted to point something out because it's pretty hilarious. Uh, if this happens to me, which it's looking at it's about three minutes in. Yep, that's rain headed right towards me. This should be fun. All right, so since that rain's coming in, I didn't even think of this would be a reason I would need this towel. But it's looking like it. Also, look at this view. Here it comes. This is the first time I've been a little confused. Uh, and for a second, I almost went this way because I figured that was the only way. Uh, pretty sure there's a path up this way. Don't be stupid, especially when you're by yourself. By the way, this cape is just for <laughs> if it starts raining that I can cover my camera equipment. It's not because I feel like a superhero, if anything. I feel like someone who needs to be saved by one. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This hike just got real. This is no joke. I'm just so happy. It's flat. Also, I didn't get rained on. I somehow it went the other direction. Uh, but since this thing was already out, I'm not mad about it cooling me down a little bit. Wow. I could imagine coming here uh, during rainy season or like after, right after rainy season when this is all green. I have to imagine it's beautiful. Uh, oh, thankfully I looked over and saw a sign that says natural pools. I almost passed it. Do you know how angry I would have been if I had kept walking and completely missed this? So, just to summarize, when you see this big lump and you get after this terrible uphillness, you're gonna come downhill to this very open space and then there's a sign for the natural pools. One way you'll know you've gone too far is you'll start to see life again. So, here we are. Let's go check out these natural pools.
All right, so it is 12.20. I did take a little break when I felt like I was gonna throw up due to my very low athletic abilities right now. Not a shape. So I did stop and I'll tell you where I stopped. It was when I was at the top of this little hill. Well, not the top, but I was up about halfway. Uh, I, it got bad. So I had to stop. It's now 12.20. That white house way out there, I want to say that's about where I started from. Came all the way up and down and around and out. Now, you didn't go really up the mountain, so there wasn't a lot of up. Uh, but it was, it was a good little hike. I'm not gonna lie. So that is kind of the distance and the time it took me with a few breaks. Be aware of that. And once again, just so you know, not a single ounce of shade out there. This has cooled me down tremendously. Highly recommend something like it. I wouldn't have even thought of it. This is something I sit on on the beach, but it feels so good to be underneath it right now. It's also really breezy, which is great. So all factors to take into this.